investigators and cadaver dogs scoured the property at a home on Mallory Dozens Crescent. of officers have been working around the clock. Pleading guilty to eight counts of murder in the first degree, this makes him Canada's biggest serial killer. This isn't your average documentary. This isn't your average story. He wasn't your average serial killer. I think that that's because he knew what he was doing and he was evil. The most infamous serial killer in the history of Toronto. I mean, this man was brutal, relentless. He went undetected and he got away with a lot. He deceived a lot of people along the way. And my son isn't your average survivor. I remember everything other than what happened during the 20 minutes, but from the pictures he took during those 20 minutes, I know what was probably about to happen. I don't know if I could speak about something so incredibly traumatic so gracefully. And I've always been protective of Sean. I just wanted him to be okay. He has post-traumatic stress from this experience. He has survivor's guilt. I was already a little lost after he pled guilty because I thought, how am I gonna get these answers? All my power was taken away, starting with him, but I can make the best of it. I have a way to help others. I thought if there's going to be somebody who survives this and should talk about it, I think it was meant to be him. Did you hear there's a serial killer in the neighborhood? <laughs> 